Okay, so working on the Kubota. Starting to make patterns for the new flooring. And I've got to finish cutting out the remaining uh, bad flooring. Um, so I started with cardboard. Here's a piece of cardboard. This is the existing piece that has this edge and this is the existing piece um, and you can see where the old piece overlapped and was welded on here. I couldn't really tell because this was all rotted when I, the other piece. But what I'm, so what I'm planning on doing is putting this piece and right now the cardboard is uh, exact same, just butts right up to it but the finished piece of of metal so that will sit like that uh, on the edge here I'll just weld this down here and then I cut a little bit of a curve here so it'll go alongside there um, so that shape is pretty well in place um, this piece now has to be cut out so I just arbitrarily picked a picked a position that still had enough good metal I could just uh, grind that down and, and get some paint on it, protective paint on there. Um, so I just took and uh, came down 60 mils from from here, on here, and then over here I was going to go straight. You can see where the line, the same kind of 60 mils, but I decided uh, it'd be easier if I could just. So this line here is higher here, and it tapers down. To the corner here and I'm just going to cut across here. I'm going to leave the corner in there. It's just it's a little hard to get in, uh, awkward to, to weld, etc. And it's, it's pretty solid metal. So again, I'll just clean that up and paint. Put paint on there. So I've got most of it cut now. I just need to uh, finish the final cut across here. And we'll be able to take that piece out and then uh, use that as a pattern. And get some more metal going. So making progress. Okay, so when I started grinding that back, I noticed um, that section was raised. You might see that in an earlier video. I beat it down, of course, it just, the material, the metal just disintegrated. So I cut out a piece and uh, cut out a patch. And the patch is now welded in there. I just grind that down and give it a coat of primer. And that should be ready now to start putting in the rest of bits, making progress. Okay, so I've taken, uh, cut out that pieces, piece as I showed you. Um, next is to make a template out of cardboard to facilitate cutting out the steel. Um, you notice it is going to have a curve upwards and it has to have uh, a bend over on the other side of uh, Good to follow along with this bend here. So, what do we do? Okay, so here's my uh, pattern made from cardboard laid over top of the piece of metal that we cut out of there. Um, it's going to have to be made out of two pieces. Um, just to get this piece, same as the cardboard, I couldn't bend, you can't bend cardboard in a compound curve and you can't do that same with steel either. So, that just means that I'm going to take the cardboard, which is in one, two pieces, and uh, I'll just fit the card, make sure that the cardboard fits in the spot uh, where the steel came out, and then I'll take it apart here, lay it flat on the steel, cut out the two pieces, and then I'll um, bend them, get them in the right spot, and then I'll have to weld them. So that's the plan. Okay, so the cardboard template looks good. Fits in there nice. So now take the cardboard and let's uh, convert that to a piece of steel. Okay, so um, cardboard pattern has been transferred to the 18 gauge sheet steel. So now I'll just use my shears and cut this out and then start bending it and then at this point here I'm going to have to weld in a little piece of angle. We'll show you that when we once we get her bent and once we get it 
in place you'll see where the gap is anyway making progress so the air shears work really good for uh, cutting this 18 gauge okay here we go basically the shears have two cutting edges one on the left side of the One on the left side, one on the right side. So, obviously, you want to cut it right there. So, I'm just going to line it up right there. A little tricky to do one handed, but we got her done. Okay, so there's the metal floorboard for the passenger side. So you see there's a gap here. I'll have to uh, weld a little piece of metal in there. Uh, basically I started bending it a little bit and then clamped it in. This is clamped on the old piece. So I'm using the old piece as a form. Um, tapped in the corners. Got her all good. I'll just have to put a step on the uh, top edges there where it'll go underneath the existing um, the fender or the wheel yeah the fender wheel bulge inside there so uh, yeah still making progress okay so I needed to add that little wedge of steel in uh, welded the back side first uh, didn't need to look so pretty um, there's the front side I uh, just have to hit that with a little bit of uh, the grinder just to clean that up. Uh, but that should look pretty good. Right on. Okay, so we're making some great progress on the passenger side floor of the RTV. I've got my piece in. Um, plug welded over on that side. Uh, the top edge has been welded from the back side uh, after putting in a step so I have to do something in this corner here the plate in there but I'll do that after I get the next piece so this is the next piece um, so you can see it has a step and it should fit in like so again doing things one-handed is always a YouTube challenge okay I'm gonna put it in and get right back to you okay so we've got the piece in um, it's looking good start getting some welds on there um, the reason why this looks different than this is when I laid this out I realized I laid it out on the good side which ended up by being on the underside the good side just being there was a nice shiny side of the steel and the back side was a little rusty uh, just the surface rust on, on the steel anyway that's why they look different but they are from the same sheet of steel it's 18 gauge a little thinner than that I probably should have gone maybe for a 16 gauge or something but uh, I think it's gonna work out just for perfect by the time this is got the uh, by the time I put some welds on there um, she'll look awesome and good and sturdy no problem Okie doke perfect making progress okay so this is all welded and I'm still missing the little piece in the corner here so let's just uh, make use our CAD computer uh, cardboard aided design we made a pattern it'll fit right in there and then I traced the pattern on metal so now I have the piece that's gonna go in there and what's the chances of putting that piece in with one hand? 
not bloody likely. However, with a little finagling and using two hands, I got the piece in there. So now we'll just have to throw a little weld on that and throw some primer paint and we're getting close. Except I still have the other side. <sighs> Sigh. Okay, so I've started with a few tacks. Hold that in place. I did the uh, these two tacks first. Pushed uh, this was sticking out a little bit, so I pushed this in, held it in with a screwdriver while I tacked there, and then the bottom was a little bit out, so I pushed from the outside and pushed the plate um, towards. Um, the floor and then got those two tacks in the bottom so now we can just seal weld that up okay so I've cleaned up the pan the center section moved the wires and everything out of there and uh, just took my grinding a little wheel and just roughed up got rid of as much rust as I could wiped it all down with acetone um, now I'm just going to spray it with some self etch primer and uh, yeah we're still making progress fantastic okay etch primer um, looks pretty decent and now let's go make progress on the other side <laughs> 